it's Corey and Stephanie and welcome and to Disney's here. Animal Kingdom Lodge we're here today with the whole family we've got Lucy and Taylor with us say hi guys hi and we are so excited because we just checked in here for the weekend we've never stayed at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge before so really excited to be here for the weekend and we're actually staying club level which is amazing so we're gonna be able to experience everything the club level has to offer and bring you guys along with us yeah and the girls are super excited mostly what are you most excited for the water slide the water at the slide. pool. The water slide. So we're excited to check out all that this resort has to offer and to take you guys along with us. What do you say? Let's get started. Let's go. Okay, Tay, so we just got a text message saying that our room is all ready for us. You ready to go check it out? Yeah. Let's go do it. Hey, our room is, our room is here. Did I do it? Welcome to our room here at Animal Kingdom Lodge. This is a club level deluxe studio room. Let's have a look around and check it out. First off, a little kitchenette area, and this is cool. Check out Simba back there. Nice touches, all kinds of little details. With a lot of the deluxe resorts here at Disney, there's always cool little details to check out in the rooms, a lot of nice theming. There's an ice bucket, and over here, a microwave and a toaster. And then also we got coffee pot, some coffee, of course, Joffrey's coffee. And there's a little refrigerator down here. And some cabinets up top and down at the bottom, little kitchenette area. And here's the first part of the bathroom. And like many of the other deluxe resorts, you get the two sink vanity, which is really nice. A really nice touch and uh, definitely helps getting ready in the morning a lot quicker. Of course, you've got the Disney H2O products here at the sink. And I love this mirror. Everything is themed very nicely here in Animal Kingdom Lodge. I mean, it kind of goes along with everything else here that you see in the lobby and as you walk through. It has that same feel carried throughout the rooms, but I really like this. I think it's nice and roomy. There is no door on this area kind of going into the I guess what we would call the powder room um, but then when you turn here and go in this way this is the door that leads into where the toilet is where the bathtub and shower is um, not huge in here um, but enough room to go in and do your business <laughs> and take a shower and check it out these hand-painted they look like hand-painted tiles a really nice touch um, they're beautiful and that that just pop of color goes along with all all of the theming here at the resort. And this would be the first time we've stayed at a deluxe resort since they've changed over to the refillable shampoo, conditioner, and body wash bottles. And uh, yeah, I liked it before when you could take the bottles home with you, but I understand they're trying to eliminate waste and, uh, and this works but I wish I could take these home. Even the shower curtain has so many details and is just beautiful. I love the design of this. I'd like to have this shower curtain in our own house, but check out the hidden Mickeys, guys. There are hidden Mickeys all over these resorts and uh, this resort and this shower curtain is no exception. Now we've made it here into the main room with the bed, the couch, everything else. But look at this bed, it's beautiful. I love the headboard on this bed. The design is really, really cool. And um, I did lay on here a minute to go and it's really really comfortable I believe this is a queen size bed I believe um, I know it's not king so it's either full or queen but I think it's a queen size bed and look at this picture of Africa up here this map it's pretty cool 
Again, all of those little touches, the design touches here that kind of go along with the whole Animal Kingdom theme is really amazing. Um, and I think, it's, uh, I think it's beautiful. The room is very well done from a color scheme and theming standpoint, I really like it. And over here is the couch. And this couch actually is quite wide, wider than some of the other couches that I've seen in the resorts. And this does fold out into a bed. So there's a bed underneath there. So we'll be folding that out for the girls tonight. And then these little coffee tables, these are cool because they can separate and you can move them around. Actually, once you open the bed out, you could put one of these on each side and have another little nightstand on each side. So that's pretty cool. Over here across from the couch is this little sitting area with a table, a couple chairs. There's no desk in the room. So this is kind of the equivalent of the desk area and gives you a place to sit, do some work if you need to do work. Hopefully you're not doing work on vacation, but also have a cup of coffee, some food. And there's this mirror up here. And again, beautiful design. The details in this mirror are really, really nice. And it just goes along with the theming of all the rest of the furniture in this room. And next to the table and chairs is this dresser. And again, it's beautiful. I know I've said that a bunch, but the furniture is really great in here. And this has four drawers. And down here, I didn't even look in here, are cabinets. Okay, so you could throw, it's a nice wide area. You could throw some luggage down here, get it out of the way. That's actually, that's really nice. I think I like having this open area as opposed to two more drawers down there. I think that's a little bit more usable space. And then of course, we've got charging areas. Um, there's two outlets and two USBs on both sides here. So plenty of places to charge your cell phone, um, your laptops, your your tablets, all of that right here on this dresser. And then of course you got this nice large TV, really nice. Next to the dresser is this large armoire. Let's take a look inside and see what, what all is in here. Well, there's a couple of robes. There's actually a lot of stuff in here. There's a couple of robes up here. Looks like probably a hair dryer. Yep, a blow dryer. There is the clothes iron and here is the safe for the room. A nice size safe. It's actually pretty deep. You could fit a big laptop in there. <clears throat> and then there's your clothes hangers, extra pillow and blanket, a little luggage rack, and then the ironing board is kind of tucked away in this little slot over here. So again, a lot of room to hang up clothes. There is no um, closet in the room. So this is what you get for a closet. So you would need to, you know, move this stuff out of here and store it somewhere else to be able to hang your clothes, but plenty of space to hang your clothes and uh, a nice touch in this armoire. And then next to the armoire, there's also this little bench area, which, you know, you could put your roller bag on and then also it has this big drawer underneath. So again, you could store a carry on suitcase in here. Um, you could stuff that extra pillow and blanket from the armoire in here to give you room to hang up your clothes. Just uh, nice to see that there's a good amount of storage in the room to be able to kind of get everything out of the way and just relax. Last but not least, we have to check out the balcony and this is our view. So this isn't a Savannah view room, but this view looks out over the pool here at the Jumbo house. So we walk out here, a nice sized balcony. There's two chairs out here and a little table. Again, a great place to come out and have a cup of coffee in the morning. And it's nice and shaded. If it was raining, we would be perfectly fine. We're actually up here on the top floor, looking out over the pool and it is a warm day out here right now but very relaxing and just beautiful we just had you know the the pieces the little bit outer edges of hurricane dorian coming through here and uh now the weather is absolutely beautiful look at those blue skies and i really like this this is very relaxing and just beautiful all right, so I hope you enjoyed our room tour over at Jumbo House. Now we've made our way over to Kadani Village, and this is the DVC side of the resort, and we came over here to check out their pool. Why did we come over here, Taylor? To go on the water slide. It's a big one and then a baby slide. So they got a big water slide and a baby water slide? And you're excited? Yeah, I want to go on the little one. Oh, you want to go on the I'm little gonna, one? I want to go on the little one right when he gets there and put out my clothes. Without your floaties, Taylor's just learning how to swim and she wants to go without her floaties and Lucy's learning to swim too. So let's go have fun and check out the pool here at Kadani Village. Right, 
so we had a great time over at the pool in Kadani Village. Did you have fun, Taylor? Yeah. How did you like the water slide? It was fun. It was so much fun. We had a great time over there and we made it back now over to Jumbo House and it's it's dinner time so we're gonna go check out the lounge for the first time. This is the club level lounge. They're doing like a it's like a dinner appetizer um, service which I don't know what the name of it is. There's some specific name for it. I don't know what it is. I just know there's food and I am starving and excited to go check it out so let's go give it a try. So it's all the way up here on the top floor in Jumbo House where you find the club lounge. And this is the lounge, so they do food service in here uh, multiple times a day. Over here there's basically a buffet bar where they have different things available. Right now is kind of the appetizer slash dinner service that they do. Let's go check it out and see what they have to offer. So alcohol is included in the club level service here and uh, you can get wines. There's actually mimosas available all day and here are some bottled beers. For the food offerings, there's some charcuterie, different cheeses available with some sauces, and then over here are some different breads along with some different hummus. And those all look really tasty. We actually, some of these hummus are the same offerings that they have down in Boma. And I think some of the, a lot of the food that they have here, some of the soups that they have earlier in the day are also offerings that they have down in Boma. So I think most of this comes from the Boma kitchen. But then there's also, you guys know me, I'm staying away from this, two different kinds of olives. I guess if you like the olives, those look good. But then some mango chutney, which looks really good. And then here's some fresh vegetables, tomatoes, cucumbers, carrots, asparagus, green beans, and some fresh buttermilk ranch dip. And they didn't forget about the little ones. Check it out, you can get peanut butter and jelly with banana sliced on top. Those actually look really delicious. I think I'm gonna have one of those. And then sitting back here behind is cured shrimp couscous salad and the little spoons. Those are almost gone. I'm gonna have to grab one of those too, but those look really delicious. And again, they have something for everyone. Check it out, little chicken bites. You can get chicken nuggets everywhere on Disney property. And the club level lounge here at Animal Kingdom Lodge is no exception. And it looks like there's barbecue sauce and like a uh, honey mustard available for them. And of course, there's some assorted fruit as well as fresh sliced apples. And for the apples, there's some caramel dipping sauce and also peanut butter. Check out this Nespresso machine. This is awesome. So I was just looking at the directions here. I've actually never used one of these machines before, but over there are the different pods for the coffee. And up here is the little slot that you stick it in right there. So you stick it in there, put your cup down here, choose what you want, a cappuccino, do you want a latte? You pull the lever down and you make your coffee. That looks really good. I'm gonna probably be hitting this later on tonight for the dessert service and definitely will be hitting it first thing in the morning. Along with the Nespresso machine, they also just have decaf and regular coffee right here available, as well as some Twining's tea offerings. You can make some hot chocolate and then everything to go in your coffee, some pump, pumpable flavors, vanilla, hazelnut, raspberry, cream, and check out the Mickey shaped sugars to put in your coffee. Very cool. So here's the cold drink offering. So they have unsweetened iced tea, lemonade, filtered water, and I was so excited to see jungle juice available right here in the lounge as much as you want. If you've never had jungle juice, it's so delicious. You get it over in Boma, I think at breakfast and at dinner time. And I also just heard that the mimosas that they have available here all day long, they'll do in orange juice and in jungle juice. So that's pretty awesome. And then also there's a cooler here with sodas. So you can get Coke, Diet Coke, Mr. Pibb, Sprite, and there's some milk down there too, and chocolate milk for the kids, and I even saw orange juice in there. Pretty cool, available all day. 
So the main buffet of options is set up over there along that wall, but also during this dinner kind of appetizer service, they have another section set up over here where they're making some fresh plated options. And this is African stew with broccolini and mashed potatoes. And that looks so delicious. And then also an Egyptian chickpea and lentil falafel. And those look good. I am gonna try both of these. And it's really cool that they have this area set up. He's over here plating these individually um, to order, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so the first thing I had to try here was this falafel and African stew. Both of these looked really good. We got to watch the cast member up there making them. And let's give them a try and see how they are. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna try is this stew, this African stew. It's got mashed potatoes in it and it looks really good. Whoa, let's give it a try. It's a tiny spoon. That is so good. The sausage that's in there, the flavor of the stew itself has a lot of flavor. It has those same flavors that you get down in Boma. Um, not really a curry flavor, but just a lot of spices and, and just different flavors coming through. The mashed potatoes are absolutely delicious. Um, and it doesn't feel very heavy for a stew. I know it's a heavier kind of dish with the mashed potatoes and stuff in there, but it doesn't feel too heavy. And that sausage, while it has a nice flavor and a lot of spices, doesn't have like too much of a kick. It's kind of like a perfect little stew. And uh, I'm gonna finish this one off and I may have to get another. All right, next we're gonna try this falafel and it looks really good too. I mean, literally cooking fresh in the pan up there right now, these falafels, which is pretty awesome in a lounge like this, um, that they're really preparing stuff fresh like that and plating it fresh. Let's give it a try and see what it tastes like. And those are great. Such a great flavor coming from the falafel. Cooked perfectly. I love that yogurt sauce that's on top and then with the vegetables on top too. Everything just works well together. It's kind of what you hope for from a falafel. Um, and it's just really, really good. I'm so impressed so far with the little bit that we've tried, with the quality of food coming out of like an, a lounge environment like this. Like you would expect, you know, chips and dip and those sorts of things. But come on, African stew and fresh falafels in a club level lounge, pretty amazing. All right, so here is round number two for me. So I got a couple of the chicken bites to try, one with barbecue sauce and one with the honey mustard. And then I got some of these chips to try with the coriander hummus, cause that sounded really good. And some of the mango chutney to give that a try. I also got another one of the African stews. And then this, which is a curried shrimp couscous salad. And that looks really good. So let's give it a try. All right, let's try this curried shrimp couscous salad. It looks really good and it's served in the spoon. And I kinda, it's like, it's one of those things like, do you eat it all in one bite or do you eat it in multiple bites? We're gonna eat it all in one bite. That is delicious. The shrimp is perfect. It's a chilled salad, um, but the curried shrimp itself, the flavor of the shrimp, really delicious. The uh, couscous, perfect. <clears throat> I can't get over the quality of the food in here. Um, those are perfect. I can just keep eating these things all day long. But that was really delicious. One more thing to try here really quick is I wanna try this hummus. And see, there's, there's a bunch of different hummus that you can get down in Boma. We were talking earlier about how all this food comes out of the Boma kitchen. It's all prepped in the Boma kitchen. Let's try the coriander hummus and see how it tastes. Delicious hummus. I tried the sun-dried tomato one too, but the coriander hummus, very, very delicious. Probably my favorite here. But uh, again, all the food's delicious. We're gonna continue to eat, and then maybe we'll be back later for the dessert service. So we're really enjoying the lounge. There's so much to offer here. You know, the kids got their chicken. We had some fancy foods. I admit I'm eating a peanut butter and jelly right now because it just sounded good and the kids that eat a lot of it. But it's really nice here and really relaxing. And we got a great overview of the main lobby. It's really relaxing and the food is great. So after having all that delicious food in the lounge, we went for a late night swim and then came back to the lounge for some dessert. And now it's time for bed. Good night, everybody. 
good morning and just like that we are here day two of our stay this weekend at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. The girls are sleeping in this morning so I thought I'd take this opportunity, take you guys around, do a little bit of a resort tour, show you around the grounds here of the lodge, show you the amenities offered here and just check out everything that Animal Kingdom Lodge has to offer. So let's go get started. So we are gonna begin our tour right here in Jumbo House. And I gotta say, we have been to um, so many resorts, all the resorts now here in Walt Disney World. And this lobby, the main room here in Jumbo House has gotta be one of my favorites, especially at Christmas time with the big Christmas tree. It's just beautiful in here. Look at the chandeliers. Look at how open and vast it is. It's really amazing. Yesterday, um, the video that we did when we were up in the club lounge area, it's actually right up there, the very top floor up there um, on the sixth floor. That's where that's located and has those amazing views that we saw looking over. Um, but it's so beautiful in here. And right now we're actually looking back towards, that's the main entrance right over there. You actually come in we're on the second floor actually is where you come in from the main entrance and that's over there over here's the check-in counter and then over on this side um, looking over here we'll go over there in a second that drops off to the first floor and that's where two signature restaurants here are located um, and we'll go check those out but just checking out the main lobby here it's big and kind of compared to um, the way it's laid out with all the seats and couches and stuff kind of reminds me of the Grand Floridian a bit but Animal Kingdom style, which is amazing. And then when you look all the way around over here to the far end at the windows, this looks out over the safari. And you can see looking out over um, where all the animals would be over here is where you know common commonly see giraffes and zebra and stuff and we'll go out there and check all that out again and like you like you can see we're on the second floor you would go downstairs here to get to the first floor to head outside and we'll go check that out in a bit but let's head over and check out some of the awesome restaurants available here at Animal Kingdom Lodge. And so here's the view from this side over where the restaurants are looking back into the main lobby and we're on a bridge right now. You can see the water bubbling up right there on both sides and as you pan around the bridge and look over, you can see what is Victoria Falls Lounge and this is the lounge that sits up here above Boma. So in the distance there, that is the uh, one of the signature restaurants here at Animal Kingdom Lodge, the African Buffet Restaurant, Boma, and then you can see this lounge sits up here, and then as you continue down over there is where Jico is, so let's go down there and check it all out. And so we've made our way down to the Victoria Falls Lounge, and I gotta say, it's really beautiful up here. It's very tranquil, you can hear the sound of the waterfall, and you're kind of sitting here up above Boma, and check out the menu here at Victoria Falls. Um, of course, plenty of drinks available. Here's the beer list, signature cocktails, two different pages of signature cocktails. Um, and then they have African wines. And there's some whiskey, tequila, South African whiskey. Just really interesting things here, kind of all part of that African theme. Um, but we've never eaten here before, and I've heard good things about the food. You can see there's food offered from 5 p.m. to 9.30, and I've actually heard really good things about the burger that's available here. You can see $17 for the burger. There's some crispy wings, um, but all having just a really um, unique flavor to them. Some of those spices and seasonings used um, in Africa utilized in some of the food here, even at the lounge, and uh, definitely gonna come here sometime and try them. Even the mushroom flat Red sounds good. So I think we'll see a, a dining review from here very, very soon. So we've made our way all the way downstairs now. Victoria Falls Lounge is right up there, and right here is Boma. And if you've never been to Boma before, Boma is absolutely delicious. It's one of our favorite restaurants here on property, um, and it is an African buffet serving up all kinds of delicious food and very unique flavors. There's a watermelon rind salad that is so delicious. There's a potato, uh, actually a macaroni salad that has all these African spices that is really Really good. There's always good meats and hummus, just so much to choose from. And this is where you can get the delicious zebra domes, which 
everyone loves the zebra dome. It's a very unique signature dessert here at Boma. And so from Boma, if you take a right, you head right over here into another one of the signature restaurants here at Animal Kingdom Lodge, and that is Jico, the cooking place. And Jico actually is one of the higher end restaurants that they have here, entrees ranging from $18 to $50. And you know, Boma's more of the family style buffet restaurant. And this is where you can come parents can come and have a nice meal. I mean, kids can come here too, but you know what I mean. The parents can come and have a nice meal here at Jico, get some steak or seafood, and uh, all again with that African flair and those spices and seasonings that kind of make this restaurant, again, unique like Boma here to Animal Kingdom Lodge and uh, also another fantastic place to dine. So one of the other things I wanted to mention here is that every day at 4.10 they actually do a restaurant tour that starts over in Jico and then ends over here in Boma. You get to sample some of the food available at the restaurant but also kind of hear about the decor and why it's kind of designed and decorated the way it is and where those influences come from. It's actually very cool. We've done it before and I'm going to come do a vlog here sometime and we'll do the whole tour and try the food but definitely if you're going to be over here if you're staying here or not you can come do the tour. It's completely free at 410 and come try out some of this food. So I just stepped out the back doors here from the restaurants and we're now on the ground level. You can look over here and see the windows looking back into Jico. And then as you come along here, um, this pathway here leads back to Simba's Clubhouse, the Mara, which is their quick service restaurant. So we'll go check that out as well. There's the arcade, um, the waiting pool, and then there is a fitness center, playground, and overlook back this way. And over here is where the main pool is here at Jumbo House. You can see it right there, the big pool right out in the middle. So let's go check out the pool and see everything that's offered over here. And then we'll make our way over to the other side and go check out the Mara. Really quickly, one of the interesting things to point out here now that we've walked outside and we're looking out the back towards the pool is that right there is our room. So that's the room that we're staying in, has the look that looks out over the pool. You saw it earlier when I was walking around the room doing the room tour, but pretty cool. It's right there tucked away on the sixth floor, so awesome. And here is the main pool here at Animal Kingdom Lodge, and it's huge. I mean, this is, this is a really, really big pool. You can see when you look over towards that side, over on that end is a zero entry portion of the pool. We're actually on a little bridge here. It doesn't continue over to the other side. This is back looking at the hotel. But when you look out here over this water, I mean, it is definitely a large pool, and there's a water slide tucked away over there, which I know Taylor and Lucy are gonna love playing on this water slide as well but just a really, really big pool. And it doesn't look like it goes uh, any deeper than like four feet or just under four feet. So definitely a very family friendly pool. And as we make our way around the pool here, we come over to the Akuna Matata playground. And this is actually a really nice playground. The ground has that kind of squishy material and it looks like there's a lot to play on. And really the biggest added bonus here is all the tree cover. It's really beautiful and just a nice place for the kids to hang out. Our girls were actually playing out here last night um, and just a really, really cool playground. Now we've made our way around to the other side of the pool. You can see over here is the poolside bar that's available where you can get food and drinks. And as we move over now, over there's where we were standing before, you can see the, the slide. So right there is the slide. It's a pretty small slide, definitely looks kid friendly. And uh, again, just a really nice, very large family pool. And so we made our way back here on the right hand side all the way to the back of this walkway. So when you look over there, that's where the pool is. And then we continue to walk back here and we're looking out over the savanna. And this is again is what makes this hotel so unique. This resort is amazing. The fact that we can come out here and look over the savanna. And I mean, oftentimes we can see right out there is a giraffe just hanging out out there, eating some food and there's some other animals. There's one walking closer. I'll switch over to the other lens here for a second so we can get some up close footage of those but I mean just amazing that you can look right out your hotel room window here and be looking out over the savannah 
and all these incredible animals. So over here on the other side of the pool is Pumbaa's Fun and Games, and this is the arcade available here at Animal Kingdom Lodge. And you can see there's actually quite a bit to choose from in here. Um, it's kind of interesting because some of the deluxe resorts have smaller arcades, like Grand Floridian, the arcade is very small, and then some of the values and moderates, like over at Pop Century, has a nice large arcade, um, which is, I think, on purpose. But it's interesting to see a bigger one here at a deluxe resort, everything from pinball and air hockey, basketball, the stuff that you would expect. And then check this out, this Star Wars Racer Arcade. This is pretty cool. It's like you're in a little ship. Blazing Angels Jet Game. There's motorcycles over there, are massage chairs. Again, just a decent sized little arcade. And here's the prices for playing here in the arcade. I gotta say, it's kind of expensive. So a dollar for 50 points, and a lot of the games that I saw, pinball for instance, is 100 points to play. So $2 to play a game of pinball. I guess if you're gonna spend a lot of time in here, the way to go is to do the $25, where you get 1,250 points plus 750 bonus points. That makes it a little better, but man, that is expensive for an arcade. So we've now made a complete loop around the pool. If we look over here, this is where we came from originally out of where Boma and Jico is. This is actually the windows looking into Boma right here. And as we continue around to over here at the end of the walkway, this is the Mara. And this is the quick service restaurant located here at Animal Kingdom Lodge. Let's go check it out and see what all they have to offer. And here's a look inside the Moran. I gotta say, out of all the quick service locations around property in the resorts, this one is themed really nicely. It looks beautiful in here. Over there, there's some coolers. We'll go check them out. All the areas where you can order food from the different stations. And then back over this way is all of the seating that's available. And there's quite a bit of seating inside and there's a little bit outside. And one of my weaknesses here is this. Look at all of these snack options. And I believe all of these our snack credits on the Disney dining plan. Check this out, look at, look at this cookie. This Lion King cookie looks amazing. So many delicious baked goods all around Walt Disney World property. The, the baking game is really on here. They always have delicious options over at uh, Contempo Cafe and Contemporary. Always some delicious cupcakes over there too. So not disappointing here at Animal Kingdom Lodge either. And continuing on to the other side over here, more cupcakes, zebra cupcakes, Minnie Mouse cupcakes. And right here are zebra domes. We were just talking about the zebra domes over in Boma, and these are the same zebra domes that are over there. They're delicious. They're really hard to explain the type of dessert they are. Just, just know that they're delicious. And uh, you can buy them here, a pack of four for $4.29. And then they also have gluten-free zebra domes that you can get right here too. So both gluten and gluten-free zebra domes available here in the Mara. And here's a look at some of the food options. Offering. So, you know, your standard burger, chicken nuggets, salads. They actually have some flatbread pizzas that look pretty good. And then over on the other side over here, they've got some sandwiches that look really tasty as well. The tamarind barbecue pork sandwich and that crispy chicken sandwich right there looks good. And then a little bit of kind of the more unique offerings. So some African flavors over here, including some falafel bites, which look really tasty. So definitely get a little bit of your African fix in here, but also you can get kind of the standard items, the burgers and chicken nuggets that everyone likes. Over here in the coolers, they have some hummus, there's some pre-made sandwiches and salads, some fruit cups available, some parfaits, and again, some more desserts. There's some more of those cupcakes, and once again, zebra domes available. You can just grab them right here out of the cooler, those pack of four zebra domes. And then over there, there's a drink cooler with some sodas and waters. So again, everything that you could need in a quick service restaurant available here. So we've made our way back here into the main lobby and have worked our way to the back side here of Jumbo House. And this is where we kind of originally started, looking down the stairs now, down to that first floor with the view out over the safari. Let's take a trip down there and go see if we can find any animals. And one thing that's notable as soon as you walk outside here is it's so quiet. It's just beautiful out here. This whole resort kind of is more relaxed and laid back than some of the other resorts. It's just really 
relaxing and tranquil out here. And last night, I actually came and sat out here for a little while, and this is pretty cool. At night, they actually, this lights up. It's got like, I think it's gas powered and lights up, and it's a nice fire going at night. And if it's not too hot, it's nice to sit out here in the rocking chairs and just relax and enjoy again the sounds of being out here and checking out the animals, which come up all the way right over there. Let's go check it out and still just blown away the fact that you can have a room here looking out over this beautiful safari. And right now is not the best time of day for animals. At different times of the day, they come up and they eat and they're kind of closer and more active. You can see some animals out here and you can see some birds over here hanging out. Um, but just really, really, really cool to be able to just look out your window. Again, come out on your balcony and there's times of the day when there's just giraffes hanging out here. Very cool. So back here behind Jumbo House again, and right here is one of my favorite little kind of secret areas, which sits right up here behind these trees, and it has a great view of the safari, which sits back over here. Let's go up there and check it out. And just like that, you're in this really secluded little balcony area, and nine times out of 10, there's never anybody up here. And you can come sit right over here in the rocking chair, with some coffee in the morning, in the evening, just come up here and relax. And look, there are zebras, all kinds of animals just sitting right out there. And you can just sit here and just take in the sights. Have a nice little breeze coming in right now. And you get the shade, um, so you're not sitting out in the sun. And you can get to this area by either coming up the stairs, which we just did. There's like this, this exterior staircase, which kind of is hidden behind all this metal work here. And we just came right up the stairs right over here and came in. But you can also get to this from the second floor um, of Jumbo House, from the main lobby. There's some doors that come right out here. But again, I hardly ever see anyone out in this area. And it's beautiful. Such a great little place to just come and relax. So that was a little look at our weekend here at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. Hope you enjoyed coming along with us. I had such an amazing time. How about you? Oh, it was awesome. Um, being able to stay club level like that and all the amenities that it has to offer, like the lounge, is really, really nice. Um, all the food services that we had there were spot on. And it was just so nice to be able to have that on our level, just to be able to walk out anytime and get something like that. Yeah, the food was delicious. I was blown away at the quality of the food in the Kilimanjaro Club. Um, so, so tasty. And yeah, just to be able to go in there anytime and get jungle juice yeah. was, was a pretty, pretty awesome amenity. And this resort is just so beautiful. As you saw from walking around and all the footage, there's so much to do here. And to be surrounded by animals and look out the windows and see giraffes and zebra, um, just really, really cool and uh, loved it. We're on a mission to stay at all of the deluxe resorts here in Walt Disney World, and this is number three for us. And we're just really excited to have this opportunity. Um, Taylor, how did you enjoy the weekend? Fun. It was fun? <laughs> what was your favorite part? Going in the water and the swimming and with the water slides. The water slides. Slide. Taylor and Lucy love the water slides. So much fun. The pools are awesome here. I just can't say enough about this resort. But that's going to do it for us here today at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe below for more like it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.